how to find the lowest common multiple and highest common factor. Firstly, what is the lowest common multiple? Well, as the name suggests, the lowest common multiple of two numbers is the lowest number, which is a multiple in the times table of both of the numbers. So for example, if we wanted to find the lowest common multiple of six and eight, we could list the first few multiples of six, so 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, etc. And list the first few multiples of 8, so 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. Well, we can see from the lists that the lowest number that these two lists have in common, the lowest number that's in both lists, is 24. So the lowest common multiple of 6 and 8 is 24. So what about the highest common factor? Again, the name tells us most of it. It is the highest number, which is a factor of the numbers we have, and again, is shared by both of them. So let's go with six and eight again. This time we want the highest common factor. So the factors of six are all the numbers that will divide into six without leaving a remainder. So these are one, two, three, and six. The factors of eight are one, two, four, and eight. We want the highest common factor, so the highest number that is in both lists is 2. So the highest common factor of 6 and 8 is 2. Now, so far we've been looking at fairly simple numbers where we can just list all the multiples up to a certain amount, we can list all of the factors and it's quite quick to find them. But as the numbers get bigger, as they have more factors, things can get a bit trickier. So, we're going to try and find the lowest common multiple and highest common factors of 24 and 30, but we're going to do it using prime factors. So, firstly, we're going to rewrite each number as a product of its prime factors. If you're unsure how to do this, check out my video on using prime factors trees to rewrite a number as a product of prime factors. So, 24 as a product of prime factors is equal to 2 cubed times 3, and 30 equals 2 times 3 times 5. We're now going to put these numbers into a Venn diagram like this. So I've got an oval on the left for 24, we've got an oval on the right for 30, and in the middle is the shared space where any factors which are shared will go into them. So we can see that both numbers have got a 2 in them, and both numbers have got a 3. We're now going to put the rest of 24's factors in, so we've used one of the 2's and we've used the 3, but there's 2 cubed in 24, so that's 2 more 2's to go in there. And on the right hand side for 30, so again we've used the 2 and the 3 already, so there's just a 5 left to go in there. So there we have all of the prime factors in our Venn diagram. We can now use this Venn diagram to work out the lowest common multiple and highest common factor. Let's do the highest common factor first. So for a number to be a factor of both 24 and 30, it will need to share all of its prime factors. So the shared prime factors are the ones in the middle, two and three. The product of these is six, so that's the highest common factor. That is the highest number that will divide into both 24 and 30 without a remainder. Now for the lowest common multiple, if a number is a multiple of 24 and of 30, it's going to share all of the factors that those two numbers have. So we're going to use each of the factors which is in the Venn diagram. So there are three twos, so 2 times 2 times 2, times the 3, and times the 5, to give us a lowest common multiple of 120. What about if we want the lowest common multiple and highest common factor of 120 and 252. Now if we were going to try and write out the multiples of 120 and 252, they're not easy times tables, we could be here for a long time, this method is definitely going to be quicker. So we're going to rewrite them as a product of prime factors. 120 is equal to 2 cubed times 3 times 5, and 252 is equal to 2 squared times 3 squared times 7. So again, here's our Venn diagram with the overlapping area in the middle. So this time, 120 has got a 2 cubed, 250 has got a 2 squared, 
So they share two twos, so they'll go in the middle. And they've both got a three, so that'll go in the middle as well. Now for the 120, we've used two of the twos and the three, so what's left is a two and a five. For the 252, we've used both of those twos, we've used one of the threes, so what's left is a three and a seven. So there we go, all the factors are now in the Venn diagram. So just like before, to find the highest common factor, we're going to take the product of all the shared factors. So in the middle of this one, we've got 2, 2 and 3. Multiply them together, it means the highest common factor of 12. Lowest common multiple, we multiply all of the factors inside our Venn diagram. So all three 2s times by both 3s times by the 5 and the 7 to give us a lowest common multiple of 2520. So to recap, to find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of two numbers, we first rewrite the numbers as the products of their prime factors, put all the factors into a Venn diagram, being careful to put the shared factors into the middle section. Then to find the highest common factor, we multiply all the shared factors from the centre of our diagram together. And for the lowest common multiple, we multiply all of the factors in the whole Venn diagram. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.